Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this the BMW 7 Series facelift. Yes, that's right. This is the facelifted version in the real sense of the 7 Series straight away. Let's open the engine bay. There is the engine. As always in the case of BMW cars, the engine is actually closer to the cabin to give that optimal weight distribution. We've got insulation right there. You can hear the diesel noise right now. But you know what? Inside, it's a different thing altogether. Strut bars and honestly, BMW does a great job with the way they do the weight distribution on all of its cars but the talking point here is this massively massively massive grill i mean it is so huge that's what she said but you can see the grill is big now and you know what this grill actually closes when it doesn't need to draw in air for aerodynamic efficiency and opens only when it thinks that the engine needs to cool down so that's very smartly done so yeah it has these winglets which open and close that's cool you got a front parking camera bmw logo is really big and nice on this vehicle again that's what she said and here on the bumper i mean the treatment is really nice this is the towing hook parking sensors everywhere and it doesn't get a headlight washer unfortunately but you see the chrome treatment like a lot of chrome and you know the cuts and creases here you get an air curtain here it actually draws in air to you know create aero effect around the wheels that's also very cool yeah is this actually function you can see the air curtain right there yeah that's absolutely cool okay talking about the lights lights are bright they have this blue tinge on the inside these are laser lights bmw laser lights they can project more than half a kilometer ahead on high beam that's how powerful they are LED DRLs, of course, projector set up to really nice and bright lights at night and work brilliantly well on this BMW. Just look at the car. I mean, obviously, some people might like it, some people might not. But definitely, that massive grill grows on you with time. Lot of chrome treatment. And you see, BMW laser is written right there. The hood is like really long, 3 kilometer long hood. The size of this car is massive. It's running on 19 inch wheels. This is the Design Pure Excellence trim. And the front tire size happens to be a 245, 45, 19. Yeah, the wheels could have been a little bit more adventurous. You get massive disc up front. You get the BMW logo right there. You have to actually remove this hub to actually be able to use the nuts to remove the wheel of this vehicle. Michelin tires on this particular car. This is where the air curtain also works. So very functional aerodynamic bits on a BMW 7 series. The length of this car is more than 5.2 meters long. The wheelbase is more than 3.2 meters. It's an absolute beast of a vehicle in terms of length. See the chrome treatment there on the lower half on the top around the window area as well the rear tire size is actually bigger on this vehicle it happens to be a 275 40 19 because this is a rear wheel drive car and again you see the brake discs are massive so yes the 7 series is excess of almost everything and you also get a camera here because it gets a 360 degree parking camera a lot of chrome treatment it actually looks very elegant in fact you see the chrome treatment is right there as well at the rear you get this continuous running light all right runs from here keeps running and finishes right there so that also looks beautiful very porsche like somehow and these l-shaped lights might remind you a bit of lexus again the lights look beautiful this is actually the rear fog lamp only on one area this is the towing hook of the vehicle rear parking sensors reverse parking camera bmw logo is really beautiful right there and you get these chrome surround exhaust although the exhaust is behind but you get this chrome outlet again a lot of chrome here and reflectors there as well from the rear the car looks beautiful really very nice i love the lights they are super duper awesome indeed so ground clearance is kind of on the lower side on this vehicle so as you can see i was talking about the exhaust tips they look beautiful indeed meanwhile coming to the other side of the vehicle as you can see the length of the car is like really very long and that length of this vehicle actually makes it look so elegant yet makes it extremely difficult for a person to drive this vehicle as well i don't know if you guys really dig this grill but it's actually growing on me somehow that said let's open the boot right away of the 7 series now the boot carrying capacity is large on paper however okay you just click like this and there it opens i've stuffed in a lot of stuff right now my new helmet and of course the fkr jacket as well as the fkr glove so on both sides you have got storage bins yeah here you have the first aid kit right below there meanwhile as you can see boot carrying capacity is decent meanwhile uh yeah under here you get the spare wheel which is obviously smaller size and you get the spare headdress as well because the manual is like 5000 pages 
that's why it's kept in the boot hidden from sight and it is actually 450 pages so yes a lot of information about the features of this vehicle i love the leather treatment on the manual too it's really nicely done all right so here this storage space below as well which is a nifty touch now in order to close the boot all i have to do is press this button meanwhile you've got a warning triangle right there you can also lock the vehicle from there so yeah smart elements smart touches everywhere now in order to open the door well it is so freaking soft first let's talk about closing the door so it's not closed completely but it's got the soft door close feature which means that it actually pulls it in and closes it that's what she said so many times i'm going to say that today maybe yeah there it happens we're going to show it to you on the front door as well so here you see yeah yeah like magic it pulls in back anyways let's get inside the rear seat of the vehicle firstly the doors are like really very long they're like three kilometer long doors on this vehicle and bmw is written right there as well there's a lot of comfort on offer you can see the seats are extremely comfortable and obviously there's good amount of space on offer as well only for two passengers because you can see the hump there it is massively big meanwhile obviously if you open the center armrest you can actually close it like this but then what's the point of seating someone who's not really going to be comfortable and is going to intrude into your area so you're just going to open it at the moment although you get three adjustable headrests and a lot of privacy options so first and foremost the most important thing is when you get inside a bmw 7 series in the rear seat what do you want you want to make your bed you press this button here there you see so what's going to happen this seat the front seat will go all the way ahead yeah and while this is happening this seat is rising and moving ahead and this recline angle is moving right there just turning on the screen right now okay and why doesn't it turn on first first go there see that beautiful bmw logo which comes there so even the recline angle of the screen changes okay again why didn't it turn on yeah now it is turned on so the seat will keep going ahead yeah it will actually go right into the dashboard you can see the ambient lighting right below that the screen angle is changing and there the footrest also comes out which means that it's extremely comfortable for someone who's sitting there in the rear seat so yes that makes it extremely comfortable now let me get inside yes here we are closing the door no effort needed because it's going to pull it in very softly so as you can see now i have my bed in place inside the bmw and boy oh boy it is extremely comfortable so i can actually put my leg here i'm six feet two inches tall but i still manage to fit in comfortably which means there's good amount of space on offer however when it does all this it gives the driver a warning saying that your exterior left side rear view mirror will not be seen and be obstructed so be careful or just move the seat behind anyways there are four buttons here press this button opens the sun blind here press this button opens the sun blind there press this button opens the top sun blind press this button opens the rear sun blind so now all of them are open a lot of light is coming inside the cabin and obviously you get the ambient lighting on the sunroof as well this is not a sunroof this is a panoramic roof this one does not open all right now you obviously get a mirror here along with a light meanwhile same is the case there as well you get a handle to hold on to a hook and two lights as well same is the case there as well the only difference is that that person cannot actually you know have this sort of a seating because there has to be a driver to drive the vehicle that guy will pack up anyways as you can see it has got ac vents here on the b pillar it's got ac vents here in the center as well it's got a four zone climate control air conditioning system meanwhile right here there is an hdmi port along with a usb port along with two aux ports as well and of course you also get a cigarette lighter right there so you have to get an ashtray as well so there's an ashtray here on both sides and this is actually the button to operate the window there's a light placement here too there's a hook there same as the case on the other side as well see the treatment is really nice a lot of leather beautiful stitching double stitching and you know what when i actually close this it also closes on the side quarter glass so that is a level of attention to detail to ensure that your privacy is extremely important and maintained so there are a lot of buttons here as well this is actually for the adjustment of the seat i'm sitting on right now but if i want to put the seat back what do i do there is a button here which will actually put the seat back if i press this button which is two then i can actually operate the front seat yeah that's right in order to move the front seat i have to press this button and then these controls are used to move that seat otherwise if i press this now these controls are used to move the seat i am sitting on right now all right very simple the same thing is on the other side as well okay there is this seven inch tablet from samsung which unfortunately does not work it just says 100 percent battery right now if i try to remove it it does not come out it's supposed to go inside and you know it just doesn't work somehow android not for the win meanwhile below the center armrest you've got storage space here 
comfortable as well seats are extremely comfortable you've got a good recline angle you've got a good view of what's around and this is a seat which is extremely comfortable so right now what we are going to do is we are going to get this seat behind back into the position where it belongs so i've just kept a button pressed and everything will automatically happen so that it's folding and it's going to come back and push it into its normal position very quickly and very nicely you see the angle of the screen also changes accordingly so yeah that is a smartness on offer the headrest also declines it just is done so that you can be pampered on the rear seat especially people who are actually going for a business meeting they want to sleep in the car somehow so they don't yawn when people are pakowing them anyways there is no remote which i can find in this car but i'm sure there must be however this is actually touch activated and you can obviously listen to your individual zone of entertainment or you can go into theater mode and listen to all over the vehicle audio system as well so you can get into maps you can get into settings you can get into a lot of parameters here as well let's get into car right now so here in car the settings as you can see the car colored here is in the same color as the car which i'm driving so yes that changes accordingly and we can also decide how i want the seat massage shoulder massage lumbar massage as well as upper body massage or whole body massage you can just decide that you know what in order to activate massage just press this button yeah pressing this button activates the massage function and there are three levels for the massage as well that's not all you obviously get ventilated as well as heated function for the seat too so yes there's a lot of of functions on offer so seat heating distribution you can decide how you want it on the rear right seat or the rear left seat and obviously there are plenty of buttons everywhere to help you with lumbar support and each and everything to make your journey extremely comfortable so this screen which happens to be a 10.1 inch unit is extremely easy to use because it obviously gets touch screen you can get into displays i mean every function can be operated from here that is how cool it is and of course the display of the screen is also very nice yeah that is something which makes the rear bench such a pleasure to use meanwhile you can get into media you can decide where you want the audio to stream from you can listen to radio or anything else at all and you can also get into apps there are multiple apps as well so here like i was showing you this various system now the good thing here is it's got multiple ambient light colors as well you know you can decide what color ambient lighting you want as you can see they are like a lot of colors let me turn it to green right now and you can see there it is it becomes green let's turn it to lilac there it is into lilac and let's actually turn it right away into a very weird color which happens to be blue i'm calling blue weird i'm weird actually there blue looks really nice i think so let's keep it to blue right now but i'm really disappointed with this screen last time also when i reviewed the 7 series i was really upset with the samsung tablet they should have actually given an ipad at least that really works this one doesn't meanwhile you can see the door pockets are large enough these are actually the buttons so like i was telling you this is for the massage function this to recline the front seat and these are the buttons for the memory settings you can save up to two people settings here so rear seat is extremely nice comfortable luxurious but you know unfortunately you cannot operate this or even this for that matter from the front which is really very sad if you want to put it up you cannot do it from the front seat i don't know why same is with this as well if i want to you know close the sun blind for the rear panoramic roof i just cannot do it from the front that's extremely disappointing somehow maybe it is to do with the specific trim of the vehicle but you know it should have been offered you see harman kardon is written there speakers are nice and big you get a shark fin antenna and a shark fin antenna actually protrudes here so they have given this cutting here meanwhile soft door close is something which never gets old anyways it gets keyless entry put your hand with the key in your pocket on any door and it will open yeah ambient lighting works everywhere door pockets are large enough this is actually to open the boot and if i press this button the boot opens all the way yeah that is how well it's done you have to take no effort to open the boot meanwhile as you can see it also gets memory settings for the front seats so you you can save up to two people settings same is for the co passenger but the co passenger does not get any massage function to enable massage press this button massage gets enabled this is the button if you press this now it activates the co passenger seat so then you can actually move the co passenger seat the co passenger just feels so bad in this car because everyone can move their seat so you know i always play this trick with whoever sitting on the side moving the seat and they are wondering what is it happening is there a ghost inside the vehicle but no this might be belonging to bmw but they do not do any rolls royce anyways over here there's a small storage space not as big as audi these are actually the controls for the headlights so yeah multiple controls this is actually for the parking light function if you're parking the car and moving away and everything like you see the stitching the weight of the doors the quality everything feels so premium and so nice in this vehicle now this is actually the control for the adjustment of the driver seat and yeah can be done for co passenger as well you've got multiple controls so lumbar support is never an issue okay right now it's moving for that 
seat. Under thigh support is never an issue because you can obviously increase under thigh support by pressing this button and seats can be adjusted in multiple ways to give you a lot of comfort, good amount of bolstering and the seats are wide as well. You see BMW is written right there. You get a massive dead pedal there too. Let's get inside. Straight away, let me tell you that the design of the dashboard might remind you of older BMWs. However, there is a lot of new stuff inside this vehicle. For starters, you get this new instrument cluster, which gets this reverse dials for the tachometer, which is similar to Aston Martin and the MG Hector. Now, right now it's showing me some data for the audio system. Now, if I press this BC button, yeah, there's a BC button here, then I can get into various other functions, which is shown like trip data, as well as what is the fuel consumption, like overall odometer data as well. Meanwhile, there's also a G-force meter right there, and this will tell you exactly how much power and torque is being consumed in real time now if i select any of the other modes the color of this cluster will change however in sport mode the dial only gets missing so that's not really nice but in comfort mode it's actually showing me a dial yeah that is actually a good thing meanwhile this is the button to turn off stop start system this is the engine start button steering feels nice to hold and these are actually the controls for the cruise control system these are actually the controls for the audio system so i was telling you before also like it gives you this warning is your view of the exterior mirror obstructed by the front passenger seat if the passenger seat is obstructing the view please move it back obviously it's going to obstruct if it's going to fold all the way inside anyways as you can see this system is really nice and easy to work with it's very slick somehow and offers a very intuitive feeling meanwhile let's get into menu and let's get into car now everything is very similar to what we saw behind but you know you can get into vehicle status and see tire pressure monitoring engine oil level and check control service requirements and a lot of other things as well now maps has taken a lot of importance for bmw cars which means it shows a map here it shows a map there as well it'll tell you the location all the time and there there's a map in the center it's not as great as the one which audi does but on the console you see this is actually the fuel meter meanwhile it's telling me the distance to empty the clock seatbelt warning and this is the location what is the driving mode what is the gear position outside temperature and here we've got the engine temperature and like i told you other things like a tachometer and a speedometer is obviously present there's a digital speedometer as well and there are telltale lights placed everywhere now it obviously gets automatic headlights this activates or deactivates automatic headlights these are actually the controls for the wipers the wipers work brilliantly well on this vehicle lot of spray indeed and obviously automatic function for the headlights as well as for the wipers meanwhile the steering feels really nice now because there's an audio source connected if i press this button i can actually browse through the various songs because this one does not get a heads up display if there's a heads up display it will show me there otherwise i can just browse through here and decide which song i want to hear this to increase the volume this is to go to previous track this is to go to forward track this is to pick up a phone call this is for voice commands and this is actually to get into the menu mode so yes steering could have got a flat bottom the center console is actually tilted towards the driver but first thing let's open the roof of the vehicle and as you can see there's a blue tinge because right now the aimment light which i've selected is blue colored so this actually also changes let's open the sunroof right away yeah the sunroof is decent size it's not really very big but it's decent size and that's all it's going to open it's not going to open any further i was expecting it to open even more but it's decent enough and as you can see it brings in a lot of airy feeling here you obviously get a mirror along with the light same is the case here as well you get a mirror along with a light and the inside rear view mirror is frameless it obviously gets an auto dimming function here inside the glove box as you can see there's this massive compartment that is for the fragrance but there's no cartridge right now so you can actually decide the fragrance as well decent sized glove box but half the area is actually taken from the fragrance and you see the beautiful ambient lighting now in order to set temperature you can actually move it like this yeah that is so freaking cool so you can also you know decide if you want it cool or warm from here that is so freaking cool and nice i love this treatment okay we'll just move this here as well now this is actually the control for the audio system function so basically if you put a cd it is for that and you can obviously get into band this is for volume this is for the air conditioning you get a touch display for the air conditioning i not turned off air conditioning there's an ionic function yeah press this button for ionic and that's not all you obviously get heated as well as ventilated function for the front seat so this is heating which has turned on on my seat this is ventilation function which has turned on same is the case here for the co-passenger as well but the co-passenger does not get the massage function which the driver's seat as well as the rear seats get so yes this is the most unimportant person in your life anyways you get a wireless charging pad right here so there let me fit my phone and there charging starts this being a max phone is actually able to fit here which is actually a nice thing you get a usb port here you get a cigarette lighter here there's an ashtray okay there's an ashtray here and this is a cup holder right there 
now here there's the typical bmw affair but before that let's open the front center armrest there is a usb charging port along with a cigarette lighter right there there's a light placement inside and along with that you can keep your stuff as well so this is obviously the beautiful gear lever this is the electric parking brake or the handbrake this is the auto hold function this is to increase or decrease the ride height of the vehicle the standard ride height happens to be 135 mm which is the ground clearance of the vehicle this is to get into parking camera and the parking camera is really very beautiful in fact when you move the steering the camera also moves that is when we get into reverse so yeah that, there you see when i move the steering the camera also moves and the camera is so advanced if i move forward it will change the camera accordingly at lower speeds so i mean one of the best cameras in the business right now this for traction control and this is the various drive modes of the vehicle there's also something known as adaptive which actually decides yeah let's press adaptive it says predictive adjustment of vehicle setting for driving situation which is again very nice let's put in the eco pro and let's turn on stop start system meanwhile you can close this and it gets this wood treatment okay why is it struggling so yeah a lot of wood looks beautiful as well everything in this car is absolutely sensational lot of controls for the lights right there meanwhile as you can see the front seats are comfortable which you can't see but i can feel it right now the horn is also nice and loud let me play that again yeah it's loud it's really loud this screen is beautiful although i say it's a bit small but still it has a lot of functions you have obviously touch controls and other than the fact that it gets touch controls you can obviously use gesture controls as well and there's this touch pad here too so all these buttons are actually for the iDrive system so you've got media communication menu map navigation back option and the rotary dial which is beautiful to operate in fact let's talk through the car hey bmw hello what can i help you with sport displays sport displays so it has got a lot of these functions but somehow it misses out on some functions which are there on lesser bmws like hey bmw hello what can i help you with i am feeling hot this function is currently not available exactly because this is a older bmw this is a facelift this is not an all new car so that function is currently not available unfortunately so getting into car and vehicle status like i was telling you before as well you see a lot of functions there too meanwhile as you can see in terms of driving information you can get the journey data i mean there's a lot of telemetrics on offer this is the sport displays and here driving style analysis it will actually tell you how much you have been accelerating how much you have been braking and how much extra range you have removed just because of driving eco pro this is the energy flow which will show you exactly how the energy is flowing so let me go into the throttle yeah nothing is not going to do anything right now because it knows the car is in neutral right away anyways uh, this is actually a widget and you can customize it as well so you have the navigation you have the maps you have the apps all of those things and more so let's get into settings right away and all these settings like there are so many settings like driving mode exterior lighting interior lighting driver assistance as well as seat comfort so let's get into seat comfort now if i get into passenger seat well it just shows the seat settings okay you have the two memories functions there but if i get into driver seat i also can opt for seat massage and now in terms of seat massage let me select upper body activation and it displays when the button is pressed massage level i want it on 3 so yes yeah you can choose a lot of massage functions as well but i don't understand why this person is being ignored dramatically fragrance does not work right now unfortunately but you know that's something i would have loved to experience in this vehicle okay the massage is turned on let me press this button and there it shuts right away so how is the audio system of this vehicle you've got harman kardon audio system let's play an audio right away which means that how do i increase the volume simple audio quality is absolutely mind bogglingly brilliant nothing inside this car vibrates absolutely nothing vibrates that is the level of quality fit finish and build of this vehicle although when mercedes offers 64 ambient light color i wonder why bmw does not do it here i changed the ambient light color can you see it in the roof well this light is also supremely powerful you've got a multitude of airbags extreme comfort extreme luxury and of course extreme fit finish levels and massively insanely good build quality as well so bmw has done a great job in terms of making the 7 series even blingier which they achieved with the front grille and obviously improving the overall experience of this vehicle but how is it to drive well let's get going right away 